Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1833, the city of Natchez passed an ordinance prohibiting slave traders from housing slaves within the city limits. Natchez residents were afraid that incoming slaves might bring cholera into the city. The adoption of this ordinance gave rise to the force of the road, a slave market situated on the city's eastern boundary line at the intersection of Liberty and Washington Roads. About one mile from downtown Natchez and lying just outside the city limits, the force of the roads became the second largest slave market in the deep south with as many as 500 slaves at a bend house in the holding pens. In the early months of 1863, the last newspaper advertisement for slaves appeared in a Natchez paper. With the arrival of Union troops in the summer of that year, all slave trading ceased and members of the newly created 58th Infantry of U.S. Colored Troops along with the 14th Wisconsin Infantry destroyed the slave pens. Today, friends of Forks of the Road and the National Park Service has erect wayside exhibits to mark the location of the once flourishing slave markets of Natchez. I am Kyra Knight, 6th grade student and Murraytown College Prepacator, and this has been Natchez History Minute.